Today I'll be showing you how to get up and running with Dali 2 in no time. Dali 2 is absolutely amazing. If you don't know what it is, it's for generating AI art. In my last video, I look into some of the amazing results, some of the amazing things you can do with Dali 2. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to get up and running so you'll be an expert in no time. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Dali 2 website. And for that, we go to openai.com forward slash dal dash e dash two and the link for that will also be in the description below and the website itself is quite basic it's quite nice it just gives you a bit of information of what dali 2 is a bit of an example of an astronaut riding a horse in a photo style and some of the other stuff that you can do with dali 2 there's also a nice video at the bottom if you want to watch it and find out a wee bit more but to get started, we're going to go to sign up here in the top right hand corner. It's going to open up a new tab and there's a few ways to create an account. You can do it with your email address. You can sign in with Google or your Microsoft. I'm just going to sign in with my email. Click OK. It's going to ask for a password. We'll just use a strong password that Safari has recommended. It's sent a verification email to our email address. So I'm just going to open Gmail. And yes, the open AI email is there. We're going to verify the email address by clicking on the button. And it's simply going to ask you for your phone number. So I'm going to type in my phone number. Click send code. A code will be sent to your phone. Simply type it in. And you will be presented with a nice welcome to Dali. Simply click continue. A wee message pops up saying with 50 free credits. And really in Dali, a credit is one generation of an image. So we've got 50 generations, 50 credits. And every month after that, you get 15 credits free. But don't worry, if you, if you have too much fun like I do, you can buy more credits and we'll look into that shortly. So start creating with Dali. And it's quite a nice website, actually. It's very clean. It's very simplistic and easy to use. We've got our search box, or not our search box, I suppose it's our uh, description box for typing in something. There's a wee bit of a example here, an impressionist oil painting of sunflowers in a purple vase, or vase, depending on what you call it. You hit generate, and we'll, we'll do that in a wee second. You can upload an image. And if you scroll down, there is some examples here, and you can see just by tap on the screen or click on the pointer if you're on a computer it'll tell you what the description was what the prompt was how Dali generated this image a computer from the 90s in the style of vaporwave and we can click on all all different ones a hand-drawn sketch of a Porsche 911 and this one here looks pretty good a photo of a teddy bear on a skateboard in Times Square. So there's quite a few examples, but the good stuff really is at the very top, this description box, and we'll type something in there now. And if you watched my last video, you'll know in Dali 2, you can really type in more or less anything. It's only restricted to your creative imagination. And we'll just type what we'll go for. A photo of a gang of strawberries wearing sunglasses and hats on a beach. We'll hit the generate button and you can see Dali working its magic. There's a wee bar here telling us how long it's going to take. And while it's doing that, there's a few wee tips and a few wee examples of other things Dali has generated. So here is the moment of truth. And look at that. A photo of a gang of strawberries wearing sunglasses and hats on a beach. So with Dali, once you type something in, it brings up four different examples and you can click into each one separately. So it looks like a gang of strawberries. They're wearing sunglasses and they're wearing hats and, and they're on a beach. So that looks quite good. And if we click or tap beside the picture and hit this way arrow, we'll see the next one. Very, very nice. Not as nice as the last one. We'll go to the other one. That's not bad. A bit of variation with colors and sunglasses. And then... We can go to the next one and then we can go back. And now that is our first in our collection. So you can see at the top, you can go to Dali or if you hit my collection, you can see my collection. You can see all the generations we've made so far, which at the minute is only four. If I want to say, we want to click on this one and make it, make it a favorite, just click favorite and that'll add it to the favorites. And then once you go here, We've got a favorite and uh, maybe that's not too useful at the minute just because we only have 
four images made. So we can go back to Dali and we can we can click something else or we can type something else in. You can even have surprise me. So start with a detailed description. So you can just hit surprise me and straight away it brings up uh, a possible starting place. So a 3D render of a small pink balloon dog in a light pink room. We'll hit surprise me again. An abstract pencil and watercolour art of a lonely robot holding a balloon. I'd quite like to see that. So I'm going to hit generate to see what Dali does with that. And it really is only limited to your creative imagination. And here we go. You can see it just takes a few seconds and it looks like a pencil and watercolour art of a lonely robot holding a balloon. Let's click into it. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll just hit next. That's a wee bit more abstract. And the, this robot's not holding the balloon. Get with it, Dally. But uh, there is a balloon there and he is looking lonely. Arguably more lonely now that he's not even holding his balloon. And that's really, really nice. And we'll maybe type something else in now. There's going to be a video coming out soon where I'm going to talk in detail a wee bit more about the different prompts that you can use. Again, you can go down and there's examples here that might give you some ideas. But this, this thing, uh, something else off the wall, shall we? Typed in 3D render of a banana playing ice hockey in the desert. Generate. And again, we've got our wee progress bar. We've got a tip and you can see on the right hand side here are two collections. And look at that. Absolutely fantastic. A 3D render of a banana playing ice hockey in the desert. Let's click into it. You can see here the banana's mouth is a wee bit messed up, but it's definitely a banana. He's playing ice hockey. It doesn't quite look like he's in the desert. Let's click the next one. This guy's definitely in the desert. Kind of looks like the pucks in his mouth and the shoes are off his body. Yeah, this here's looking good. Again, not quite in the desert, but he's wearing sunglasses and he's looking really cool. And that's, that's another good one. So it hasn't got it exactly right. But it's been pretty close by Dali. And if you wanted to, let's say, let's go back. And I like this one. We'll tap into it. We can download that. And now that is downloaded onto the iPad. Or if you're on the computer, it'll download it on your computer. And you can even do variations of that. So say you like this image, but you want something a slight bit different. If we just click variations... It will go through the process again, but it will take that image and make variations based on that image. So here's the original image. And it tells you with the black bar original, and then these are the variations based on that. He's got he's got two uh, hockey sticks going there, and look at that. That's uh, that's quite different. He's looking happy, and this here is nearly half banana, half man, and look at the wonkiness of that stick. And that's, that's another really, really fun one. Uh, there's no end of your imagination what you can do in Dali. But it's not limited. You can't make photo after photo. Well, you can make photo after photo after photo. But you've only got what they call credits. And every credit makes a generation. If you go up to the A here, or depending on your name, or depending if you have a wee picture up here, it'll be your picture, your wee avatar. You can see here, Andrew Goodman, and I have 46 credits left. So you start off with 50. I've already used four, and now I have 46 left. But don't worry, if you want to use more, which I have done on my other account, I you can click buy credits, and for 115 credits, it's $15.00. And the more credits you buy, it doesn't really change the dollar percentage. So you can't buy, there's no savings and bigger bundles of credits. So you might as well just go for 115 credits. Click OK and you can fill in your information. And with taxes, this will come to about $18. And if you're living in the UK like I am, that'll be in around 15 or 16 pound for 115 credits. And you might think 50 credits is an awful lot. But trust me, once you get playing with Dali and, and start to do idea after idea, and, and maybe you're not quite wanting a banana playing ice hockey, maybe you're wanting a, an orange playing ice hockey, maybe not in the desert, but uh, somewhere else in the jungle, who knows? That sounds quite good. I might actually try that.
So this time it's an orange playing ice hockey in the middle of a forest and I'm making it digital art so it's not a photo, it's not a 3D render and again the video coming up will be discussing more in the different prompts and different art styles but if we simply click generate for one last time in this video again it's so much fun, let's see what Dali comes up with. And look at that, this is really, really nice. So you've got an orange, nearly like two oranges stuck together. It's even included the moon, a bit of a tree. And yes, that's that's really, really nice. I really like that. And that looks like it's maybe maybe more baseball. And look at that. That is stunning. It's not an orange. They've used kind of orange colours really for this. That looks like a bit of a, oh, I don't know what animal that would be. Maybe a bit of a beaver looking kind of with a jumper on and that's a guy in an orange coat and they are really really I, I really I really like this I really like that style so it wasn't quite what we were looking for but it threw up something that was arguably even nicer and I, I particularly like these two that's really really nice and just for fun I might just go back to this one and just try a variation of this to see what Dali can come up with and this is a really nice style. We'll click into this one. That's the original image. And then it made that. Really, really stunning. Really love these these styles. I love the colours. That's like that's like a bear. And I'm not quite sure what this that looks like a wee wee human, maybe possibly. But this is all AI generated. If you want to learn more about DALI and a bit more of an overview and the things you can do and, and how it makes, how it comes up with these images, please check out my previous video. But I think I'll do us for today. So there you have it, DALI 2. I would encourage everyone watching this video, give it a go yourself. You'll be absolutely amazed at the results and what you can produce. It's free, so why not? For 50 credits, for 50 generations, have a go and let me know in the comments below some of the best things, some of the best outputs you've got from DALI 2. I look forward to reading them. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. The next few videos, I'm going to be looking into DALI 2 in a bit more detail. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.